The first step to drawing the skull is to sketch a quick outline of it. You can use just a regular number two pencil. This one is a Stedler, came in a little pack like this. First you want to find kind of the middle of the page. So we write about there. So right now I'm just outlining the skull really lightly so that if I make any mistakes I can easily erase them. And uh, I want to let you guys know that this video is going to go by pretty quickly and I'm mostly going to explain the really important uh, techniques. The rest of it's just drawing, shading, and uh, to help you out with that you can download uh, the PDF that I'm making. It'll have all the pictures step by step so make sure you check the description for that. Alright, so now I'm uh, putting the lines in that are eventually going to be the torches in the background. So I put one line like above the bandana and one beneath it, and then I use the yardstick to see where those lines are going to come out the other end. And um, make sure you check out the PDF. I'll have a, a picture of this so that you can get a better view of it. Okay, so I've added in the uh, bottoms of the torches, and uh, something that you want to keep an eye on is that they go down about the same distance so you can use your ruler to figure that out I lightly outlined where the fire is going to be kind of the tops of these torches so um, next we're going to start shading in adding in all the fine details alright so now I've moved on to charcoal uh, using a generals HB and that's pretty much the same one that I'm I'm going to use throughout the rest of the drawing. A few people ask me if they can use a uh, number two pencil, and I guess you can, but I wouldn't suggest it. It's not going to look anything like the charcoal. Um, so now I'm doing details around the cheekbones and nose, and make sure that you keep the pencil sharp for this. And. You also have to have patience for this. The shading can take a long time. You know, this drawing took me uh, about four hours, I think, and it was stretched over a couple days because <laughs> I usually can't sit and draw that long. I get, I start pulling my hair out. But uh, yeah, just be patient. So the right side of his face has a lot of shadow to it so I'm making it a lot darker and um, something you'll see me use is the kneaded eraser I'm using right now um, you should really get yourself one of those uh, I use it a lot in this drawing especially towards the end you'll see me use it a lot it, you can get a lot of cool effects with it so they're really cheap you can find them at Walmart or any art shop so try and get yourself one Okay, so now I'm starting on the bandana, and uh, I start off by kind of outlining, there's a lot of like wrinkles on the the left side, so I just outline those, start shading them, but you got to leave uh, highlights in there too, because it's right next to the torch in the background, so it's going to have uh, light shining on it, so keep that in mind. So now I'm working on this charm that he has hanging on there, um, and I have a piece of paper under my hand just to kind of keep myself from smudging what I've already drawn, because you know charcoal is really easy to smudge. So now I'm working on the bandana some more. I lightly shade all over it, and then uh, kind of blend it all together with my finger to make it more smooth, more f I guess fabric-like. And um, then my camera runs out of memory right here, so I switched to my time-lapse camera, which has a way wider lens, so you can 
see my head and mouse is kind of annoying. But uh, more shading. The shadow is going to be more in the middle of the bandana because of the fire on both sides that we add in later. And then the uh, design, you just got to draw all these little leaves that are on it. You can see the close-up in the PDF. And do the shading on the top of the head. It's pretty easy. And then we move on to the torches in the background. For the wood part of the torch, I'm using um, only lines that flow in the same direction as the torch. So we'll do this one. Make sure your pencil is really sharp for this. So I'm going to only have the lines going out this direction. Just like that. And you'd uh, just continue to do this. And then um, it actually has like a weird design etched into the wood. You can see I kind of added it here. But I'll put close-up images of these in the PDF so that you guys can get a good look of exactly how they are. Okay, so now we're starting on the flames, and you're going to start by lightly outlining them so that you can erase any mistakes, and you're going to do this with both sides. And um, you might notice that my hair pops in at the bottom and then back out, back and forth. It's because I'm looking at the drawing and then back at the photograph, then back at the drawing, back at the photograph, um, so that I can really get this as close as I can so that it looks as natural as possible. Alright, so now that you have the outlines, you start adding in all the shadows. So just look at the picture and find all the dark areas that you see and just start drawing them in. Alright, this next part is going to make the fire look way better. You need to get yourself a blending stick or a tortillion. I think is how you pronounce it. Try to ignore my hair, by the way. <laughs> I always get really close to the paper when I'm when I'm doing details. Um, so get yourself one of those, or even a Q-tip might work. And then you're going to blend the flames really smooth. And then I go in with an eraser, a kneaded eraser, and kind of add in add the highlights back in that you might have uh, blended out. So now he's got a bunch of feathers that hang off his head, so I'm adding all those in. And they're pretty easy to draw, it's just you outline them, then you shade them, and a few of them have like stripes going down them, so you just draw those in. Then he's got this weird little uh, doll thing. It's actually like a, a miniature Jack Sparrow hanging off of him, so just outline that and this part was actually really hard getting his face because of how tiny it is but uh, again just check the PDF I'll have the close-up images of that so that you can draw them so now I'm working on the background I'm using a compressed piece of 6B charcoal then I switch to a 6B pencil to get close to the details without uh, messing them up after that I blend everything together with my fingers and start making the highlights around the flames I use a kneaded eraser for that you just take it and kinda of pat the area to remove a few layers of the charcoal and uh, make sure the pencil's sharp I say that a lot but you don't want to mess up the details that you've already made then the last thing you do is use a white charcoal pencil to add in some embers coming off the flames and then you're pretty much done so thanks a lot for watching guys please rate and good luck